and the country that's been treated like this by also our international <coughs> forces. It's incredible how nothing, nothing, nothing has been done. And nothing is in plan. You know, we are really struggling to maintain this kind of services because of course, you know, the costs are rising. Um, and we were hoping, you know, emergency works usually in this way, you, you know, you go in a country, you build a hospital, you train local staff so that they become as much autonomous as possible. And then the final aim is to hand over this hospital, perfectly running, providing very good quality of care, back to the population, which is why we're there. And we were thinking, you know, Panchit Hospital has been there for 14 years, but we're so far from the point of handing over. Government are just not interested in helping, supporting our expenses, our training programs, and our activities. We're just doing it completely without any financial, or even in terms of human resources, or any kind of facilitation that we can have. And this is really stunning because NGOs probably at the moment in Kabul there must have been like I don't know how many thousands of international NGOs present and you see the effects nothing is happening absolutely nothing and we don't know now where we are gonna head it's very difficult to know because after you know the war is officially finishing so you would think that something better you know, or something different is on its way, but the condition that we're living in that country is absolutely devastating. There's no health education, no education system, no health system, where a population can go if they cannot study and they cannot be well. You know, you just take off everything that form a basic of a you know, growing society. Mm -hmm. So our hospital, in a certain way, are also creating a unique opportunity for the local population. 98% of people <coughs> working in our hospital are Afghan. So from the laundry to the drivers, to the cleaners, to nurses, anesthetists, surgeons, midwives, um, international staff is really the minimal part there. And what we're doing every single day is working alongside them, trying to teach them as much as possible, and back in our mind is always, okay, if we have, if we have to leave tomorrow, what's going to happen? You know, are, will they be able to do these things without our supervision or our support? And unfortunately, you know, a lot of, we trained fantastic staff, we have some <coughs> surgeons that I'm sure they're actually much better than some surgeons here, and it's incredible and it's actually a bit depressing sometimes seeing that all these efforts, they're just within emergency and it's such a potential that a wise government or a wise action could help growing because it's a very successful model, it's a very successful action that we're taking. We are creating professional, we are creating health, but it's just ignored or maybe they don't want to to recognize that something is working in a positive direction in Afghanistan and probably if money would be driven in another way.